So we're here at Lincoln Cathedral today. Absolutely beautiful bit of architecture. Absolutely amazing. And I'm very privileged to live around the area, to be fair. Um, the cathedral was built between 1185 and 1311. During the construction, it had problems in the fact it had fires and also an earthquake which knocked down the centre um, tower located just around here, and there it is. Um, if you can wonder what the uh, scaffolding is, that scaffolding, uh, they've been doing quite a lot of renovation work to the building for a very, very long time. Uh, obviously you can see all the new brickwork there, and then further down there's quite a lot of old, dusty, old brickwork just further down there. Um, but yes, um, absolutely stunning bit of architecture. Um, the length of the building is 147 metres, so about 482 foot long, which is absolutely huge. And you're looking, you're looking at the uh, the width of the building um, is about 24 metres. Uh, so 78 foot. Um, so yeah, absolutely beautiful bit of architecture, and you can see where uh, they've still got to do a bit of renovation work here. And but it, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. Uh, Rumours said that um, this work will never, never completely finish. Um, it's a bit like. The Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, um, where they have to constantly every year paint it. So it's an ongoing, ongoing, um, well, ongoing work to be fair. So yeah. So we're just going to have a little walk around, have a look at the view. I mean, fantastic, isn't it? I mean, around the area as well. You know, it's a very gothic, medieval sort of area. So we're in Lincoln today, uh, we're in the Cathedral Quarter, as they call it. Um, they've had a new roof um, put on from the original, so new lead roofing. Um, it costs around a million pound a week, they say, for the Cathedral to, to be obviously run, uh, with all its work going on. Right. Yeah, it looks beautiful. You know, it's all well maintained. The grass work. Um, oh, and here's a here's a sign here. Apparently, about the porch, which is temporarily closed. Um, oh, see about public safety. But yeah, it's a shame. But I wonder if I can get in there. Yeah, that's absolutely beautiful. I mean, look at all the roof turn, like the roof arches. How much detail is in place? You know, it's absolutely fantastic. And the windows, you know. It's just a shame that obviously in certain areas where obviously the renovation work still needs to go on hence there's around the fences here because it's probably a bit too dangerous and they've obviously done the top bit there and they're working with their eye down but you know how the bricks are all eroded <laughs> in the past um, but yeah it's absolutely fantastic and there's obviously gravestones here, which I presume are either the people and the bishops that used to work here are laid to rest. Or the people that constructed it, maybe. I'm not too sure. Might have to find out. <laughs> That's my bank. <laughs> so I'm going to carry on and a little walk around. Uh, this place is absolutely amazing in the evening. They light it up, uh, they've had some new 
LED lighting put in um, not long ago and yeah and then this is what we, um, they call the bishop's eye which I'm about to show you just there so it's meant to represent uh, roses and that obviously you can see that for miles so it overlooks the city of Lincoln looks beautiful doesn't it so we'll carry on walking can have a look further around but yeah you know everything's very well maintained the grass you know there's no litter inside you know this old fashioned brickwork around the side as well even the even the uh, lamp posts are a very rustic medieval vibe about it you know. oh here's a bit they've uh, obviously spent a lot of time in renovating around here that was fantastic, doesn't it? So I've seen the bishop's eyes there, and they've spent a bit of time doing all this up around here. It was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they've still got a bit of work to do around here, it seems. But these are the lights that I was telling you about. Fantastic, these are. Oh, perfect. The bells are ringing. <coughs> Lincoln Cathedral has about 20 bells, apparently, according to Google. Whether or not that's true, I do not know. So, I mean, look at this bit here. There's a little door. It's all fenced off, unfortunately. And a little spiral staircase going up to it. So, I wonder... There's a bar on there, maybe they use this for like a jail maybe, or where they sacrificed people. Oh, I'm not 100% sure to be fair. Obviously this is all my opinion. Oh wow, look at this. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at the detail into that structure there. It's an imp. I believe. It was absolutely fantastic, and like the car, the craftsmanship in that involved. It's absolutely fantastic. Oh, it sounds, it's so impressive. Even the details on the columns here, you know. It looks, it looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's another one. Oh, look at this. Wow. Ah, it must be about greed. This guy's about greed, isn't it? Bit of money in his mouth, and he's got pound signs for eyes. But the detail involved is so impressive. It's fantastic. During its uh, in its early years of after construction, it was classed as one of the biggest buildings in mainland Europe. It's fantastic. So we're going to carry on walking around this really impressive building. To uh, I'm trying to get as much of it as I possibly can for you um, because it's such a wonderful wonderful building I mean the details on it is absolutely fantastic you know um, oh, ambulance <laughs>
mean, like I said earlier, um, you know, it's such a, a wonderful, it is such a wonderful structure. You know, it's it's one of Lincoln's biggest tourist attractions, really, to be fair. You know, and with the current situation with COVID, you know, normally at this time of year, it'd be absolutely even with people all over the, or from all over the world, to be fair. It is just one of them, and there's no one. No one about. It's absolutely. It's, it is quite creepy. I can imagine it in the evening when all these lights are on here, and I can imagine it's quite a a scary place to be about. Um, it's a bit of a random bit of structure there. Yeah, if you haven't noticed, I put my gloves on. It's turned a bit chilly at the minute. Um. Uh, the cathedral is obviously still open for private prayers throughout the day. So I presume they're using this as a temporary um, entrance. While the other one around the other side is uh, being renovated. But it's just the actual details, I see. You know, it's, it's so impressive. You know, how much work's been put in this to make it an absolutely beautiful, beautiful structure. I know I keep going on about it, but it is lovely. The thing I love about this place is the fact that it's everything. everything it's medieval around here. Buildings, even the, you know, the paths, the roads they use, but it's such a beautiful bit of architecture, really. You know, with the temporary entrance there that they're, they're obviously using for for private prayers at the minute, which they're allowed to still continue to do. You know, the details on the roofs, on the little spikes and everything. It's it's it, it's beautiful. You know, and when tourism can come back, it'll be absolutely amazing. So after walking around a bit, we're now here at the next part of this of uh, Lincoln Cathedral. Um, as you can see, it's it is, it is a very, very big, big structure, you know, um, you know, they've got all this front area of grass where in the summer people, you know, um, meet for drinks, have a few, obviously drinks, and, um, yeah, meet up with friends, but I can, I, I can, I can probably presume that in the next few years or so, that um, things will be changing around here, you know. They'll have this lovely area. Obviously, they're doing a bit of grass work, it seems. But yeah, it's it's such a nice, nice, nice building, you know. It's got lots of architecture. It's just a shame that we can't go inside it today and have a good look around. But it's still such an impressive building from around here. So the um the cost to go into the cathedral is donations. Um well, I believe there is a fee of and five pound, I think it is. So obviously, you explore like the um, the actual spirals, etc. They also do uh, memberships as well here at the cathedral. Um, it's not sort of about 
£24 for the year. Uh, with that, you do get like 20% off in the gift shop, which is a shame because you know we could have had a look in the gift shop, see what amazing items that you know they've got. Yeah, but yeah, you know, even the uh, old fashioned style lampposts are all interfering with the cathedral, it's, it's beautiful. Oh, there's a bit of construction over there, a bit of renovation work happening where really. few benches over here. I wonder if this is where they have a coffee shop or something. Like a little, yeah, it's a little coffee shop here. That's very good, isn't it? I'm wondering how beautiful and how nice it is during during the summer. Hopefully, when the restrictions are lifted, we will be able to come into the garden, have a coffee. And there's the uh, centre tower, I would say. Oh, a bit of renovation work going on just there. And then this amazing statue here of Lord Tennyson, or Tennyson they would call him. Or with his hat and his dog. Oh. That's very good, isn't it? Nice bit of reference for him. Um, over there is um, the Lincoln Hotel. Um, quite a lot of people get married there and then come over here for photo opportunities around the uh, cathedral. Yeah, Lord Tennyson then, or Tennyson. Um, born in 1809, died in 1892. Uh, yeah, let's have a little walk round, shall we? On the other side. You can't get fully round the cathedral, it seems. Uh, there is a um, school around the area, but you can still see that centre column tower, should I say. So we're just walking around to uh, Minster Yard. And yeah, another very impressive shot. So this is all new for this year. Well, not this year, but seems new to me since last time I visited the area. Um, Obviously, a bit of investment's been put in for this lovely little greenery area. Nice little sign there saying, Welcome to Dean's Green. Open daily to the public. So, let's have a look, shall we? Uh, little look around at the area. And yeah, you know, as soon as the trees and plants start growing, it'll be a very nice area to meet friends, soak up some of the sun really, to be fair, that's nice, I think you can tell they've uh, 
invested well around here. Lovely little bench area. Stone here. Oh. Well, that's very impressive. Do you know it's not a water feature? Would have been nice to see a bit of water coming off, off here a bit. And some lighting so it's lit up a, at night. But yeah, you can tell they've obviously spent a bit of time renovating all the walls, you know, trying to get as much of the detail as they possibly can. And the plants. I think this is going to be used uh, as a venue, possibly. It would be, would be nice to see that, to be fair. You know, I can see people obviously getting married here. A nice, beautiful courtyard, to be fair. Right here. Is this like offices, maybe? Or library or I can't tell what it is. Yeah, uh, that sneak look in first. Looks like it could be a shop. Maybe they're gonna put a shop there. This is very nice. Really, really beautiful area. And it's quite a big area as well. You know. Just all the details that's been put in. Yeah, you can see how that would be perfect for like a, a wedding area, wedding venue, and then down here, you got a bit of, uh, a bit of seating down the bottom there, uh, a bit of plants, shrubs. This Dean's Green is a very impressive area. Can't wait to come and visit this one in the summer. It's a bit warmer. But it's still a very nice area. Oh, dog's upset. You know. Renovation work doing over there. But yeah, it's very, very pretty. The landscaping looks beautiful. One sort, of, like I said, the one sort of plants and the flowers and the shrubbery and summer comes. We'll definitely come back around here. I'll probably do a vlog just around this area to be fair. When there's a few more people about. Let's have a look what's in here. Oh. This must be a real water effect. This will be nice. In the summer. Nice. Water feature. Right, so that's the Dean's Green. Catchy name. Oh. Such a beautiful, beautiful building. That's it, fantastic, isn't it? Right, I'll carry on walking around that way. That's my bike. This is interesting. The old Deanery Visitor Centre in Dean's Green. <sighs> so it's obviously, I said about donations and that, so it looks like it's National Lottery Heritage Fund that have um, supported this project. So it's going to be a visitor centre. That. 
think I think that would have been a, a lot better as a, a wedding venue personally. Um, but it is what it is. If it's a visitor centre, it's a visitor centre. But it just shows you how busy this place gets with visitors and tour with tourists. To be fair, having to have its own very own centre. There's a lot of lovely Victorian, would you say, medieval buildings around with the cobbles. Looks fantastic. Uh, they also have around Lincoln a um, a walk and ride system. Um, obviously, if you're in the centre of Lincoln, doing a bit of shopping and you don't want to walk up the famous steep hill, then yeah, pay a couple of quid, I think it is, or something like that. And it'll get you from the city centre up to the cathedral and the castle and that. Which I'll do a different vlog. I'll do a separate vlog on. On the on the um on the castle, but yeah, it's very very nice around here with the building. Um, obviously the archway just there just makes it so special. And then back where we starting. Huh? So just walking around the front and the entrance now. they have got um, some signs here explaining what they're doing. Obviously, they've already done the visitor centre. Um, and the Dean's Green. Um, yeah, we're letting us know what's happening to the west front of the Lincoln Cathedral. What they're doing, how they're renovating it. Very nice. So this is normally the entrance, you see. The Gallery of the Kings. So I presume this is how they do laser cleaning um, for and afters. Niche and gay one. And how they recreating the front of it. Lovely area. Very quiet tonight. And then the last one. I'll have to do a walk around when it's when it gets dark. When it's absolutely lovely at night. This is whole area is fantastic to be fair. You know, I would recommend this to anyone, you know. If you're in and around Lincoln, come and check this place out. You know, they need places like this now, especially with the current lockdown and coming out of it, you know, attractions need your support and this is no different, especially when it's funded by donations really, so Well that's it, um, that's the uh, walk around Lincoln Cathedral today. Um, it's obviously a shame that we can't go inside the building, but as soon as attractions open, we'll be going in there. So for now, that's Lincoln Cathedral around the outside. Um, but like I said, as soon as things open up, we'll be going in there. So from this very impressive building here, and myself, see you next time.